Did you know that the generative AI tools that everyone is talking so highly of are deployed over the cloud infrastructure itself? Not only that, but today 90% of the organizations have already adopted cloud computing to develop and manage their software. And the majority of them are invested in AWS. AWS is referred to as a point of reference in cloud space. They were the first to launch the cloud model and make it big. Right now, 31% of the cloud market share is acquired by AWS. So definitely, if you want to make career in cloud computing, there is no better option than AWS Cloud. Due to the popularity of AWS, many certification providers offer extensive AWS courses. But how can you judge which course is ideal for you? How can you understand if a certain program is well aligned with the industry standards? Well, to answer these queries, we have created this video. Today, we are going to help you with the ideal AWS course syllabus, which is designed by our top instructors working in companies like AWS and faculties associated with us from the top IITs. They have made sure that this course curriculum aligns with the current industry demand and has one size fits all kind of depth. So without wasting any time, let's begin our discussion about the AWS course syllabus. So generally, if you are a beginner, any cloud course program must start by clearing the fundamentals of cloud computing and how the journey of cloud computing began from visualization, virtual machines and etc. Once you understand the basics of cloud computing, the course should ideally introduce you to the AWS cloud service provider. Here basically you will learn about the multiple AWS terminologies and get acquainted with the AWS dashboard. Now what's next? Now the course should introduce you to the topics such as elastic computing and storage volumes. You guys must be thinking, what exactly are these? Basically, Elastic Computing is a web service that provides resizable computing capacity so that being a developer, you can easily deploy, manage and scale applications. At this point, the course should be ideally introduced to a virtual private cloud. So VPC allows you to run code, store data, host websites and let you do anything, anything else you can do in ordinary private cloud. Once you master these, you will be introduced to the simple storage service that is S3. You will get to learn storage hierarchy and buckets in S3. This section of the course will teach you how to use Amazon S3 to store, retrieve any amount of data at any time, anywhere. It does not stop here. You need to master AWS storage, Amazon relation database management and application services, automation and configuration management and AWS migration. By covering all these modules, you will be acquainted with AWS cloud service providers. But this is just one little step towards the summit of mastering AWS. You will have to decide what role you would like to get into such as AWS solution architect, AWS administrator, AWS developer or DevOps engineer. Once you make a decision, you will have to learn the necessary tools for the same. Generally for solution architect, administration and developer roles, tools that we mentioned become critical. But besides them, you will need to study other AWS services as well. I hope this is clear to all of you guys. I hope this video will be helpful in making informed decision about choosing the AWS course. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.